All right, guys, it looks like the Think Car 689BT has got an uh, important update. So we're going to go here to upgrade. We're going to hit app. We're going to go into that, and we've got this new uh, app version going from 112 to 114. And let's read a little bit about it. It has added the multi, what they call the multi channel system scanning, improved speed. That's that high speed scanning that the Moo car came out with about a week or two ago. Um, added support for third party key matching. I don't think the Moo car has that. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to put an icon in the modules uh, menu uh, so that you can buy a, a uh, key programmer and use with this tool. Added lock screen feature to enhance device security. Added support for downloading downloading historical diagnostic software versions. So that that's a good thing, I think. Added support for the venue i mini tire pressure gauge that's their uh, tpms programmer added a reminder for the number of unread customer service messages added a maintenance graphic guide provides detailed graphic instructions for maintenance functions that sounds pretty exciting added a lan printing tutorial functional optimizations optimize the obd fault code database optimize the mileage unit switching optimize the report comparison function the multi-mode, uh, multi-module interface flow, and the concise descriptions of setting options for quicker understanding of the operation logic, and then it fixed a couple bugs there. So let's go ahead and also an update to the Dollar Fix community, uh, or actually I think it's adding the Dollar Fix community. It's not currently on the Think Car, so we're going to go ahead and. Uh, update both these and then uh, we'll take a quick look and see what uh, differences that we're able to see then we're going to go out to the car and we'll try out the, uh, the the high speed scanning and whatever else we can we can do on the actual car itself okay and you can see that the little uh, icon there that's the online chat service and you can see the little dot was showing that there's an unread unread message which is, I guess is that one I've never used that. Uh, it's rebooting again. I've never actually used used that. I don't really like it even on the screen, so I always take it off. But if you do want it on there, you just do that right there, and then it puts these icons right there. Um, so let's go over here, just just real quick. Let's cycle through just to see. There's the Dollar Fix community that it didn't have before. Uh, now the key matching it might actually be under under this let's take a look there's the anti-theft key matching so it might be this might be where you get to that and we're going to need to be hooked up to a car to be able to do anything with that now there are some keys that you can program just using the scan tool you don't need a key programmer for so just want to get that out there there was also let me go back into the app there was uh these three right here google chrome okay there's the key programmer so there's an an, an additional app for both the key programmer and the uh, Vinny menu tpms so let's go ahead and install both of them i don't really care about the google chrome i thought i hit download there okay Okay, so let's get back out of that. Let's go over to more, go to modules, go to module. And yeah, we've got the key programmer icon right here. So currently, the Moo car, in fact, let me check and see if there's any updates. It does look like there's two. Okay, yeah, Candy Crush and Google Chrome. No key programmer for the Moo car. Uh, but we do have a key programmer for the Think car now, which is definitely a good thing. Um, check that out. Vehicle remote. That looks promising, guys. I may have to get the uh, key programmer for this Think car. Key programming update, firmware update. And I'm assuming this is actually for the key programmer itself. Probably not going to do nothing. 
Well, it does look like it's doing something there. Okay, yeah. So for the firmware up, update, we'd have to have the key programmer connected. Might be able to do that. Nope. You've got to have the key programmer connected for the database update also. Um, it doesn't actually say... Go ahead and turn that on, hit install. Hit open again. And there it is. Unlock Toyota Smart Key Remote Function. So it looks like a pretty nice uh, optional or option screen for key programming. Of course, I, oh, there we go. So that's promising. I'm going to have to look into that. And uh, as soon as I find more out about the key programmer, I'll definitely do a video and uh, let you guys know what all that entails. So the, the one thing that I've noticed. Okay, that must be, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for the, uh, the model number or part number for the key programmer. And it looks like it's a T key E Y 101. So I'll have to uh, do some Googling and figure out what uh, kind of programmer uh, they've got for this thing. So that's a pretty nice feature. Hopefully the Moo car comes out with that. Um, that's a pretty nice optional feature. Let's go ahead and go out there to the car and give it a try. All right, guys, we're out here on our 2019 uh, BMW, and we're just going to go through and see if we can see some of the main features of that this new update so i'm just going to hit so i'm going to hit diagnose we're going to do an auto search okay and i'm going to you can see that it does have the high speed scan it also has the smart scan uh i'll go ahead and do smart scan first then we'll do high speed scan and we'll see what the uh, time difference is. This is regular smart scan. You can see that it's scanning each module individually. So it's just going down the list. And that actually wasn't too bad. It's it's got uh, 25 modules, got 13 D DTCs, which you know that's you'd expect that on these BMWs. They're common for that. So let's go back, and now we're just going to do a high speed scan, see if it's any faster. And you can see that it's scanning multiple modules at the same time, and that was way faster. That was that was five seconds maybe. So. The high-speed scan is definitely uh, definitely there, definitely working. It did find set, uh, 25 modules and the same 13 DTCs. So that's a uh, that's a really cool feature. Now, instead of me grabbing my Moo car, I can grab my Think car because that's one of the things that a lot of times you hate to wait on. You're you're just wanting it to do a scan as quick as possible, and now with that high-speed scan, uh, we're going to be able to. Uh, and I don't know what else to show. What 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 else did it say? Feedback report. I can't remember what else. Oh, tutorials. Yeah. Okay. So the Moo Car's got this. This is part of the Moo Car update. Also, it's got these tutorials. So if you click on ABS, uh, you click tutorial, and it'll give you a. Uh, Kind of a walkthrough of how to do an ABS bleed. You know, battery matching. Same type of deal. So it's got those tutorials. Go over here to more. Of course, we got the battery the, or the key programmer. But without actually having the key programmer connected, I'm going to have to order that. In fact, I'm going to do that whenever I go back in because I'd like to have the key programmer and show you guys 
the function of it using this tool. Then we get back into the modules. All right, guys, we're back in the modules, and we're just going to pick, uh, we'll do this BDC, Body Domain Controller, and what I want to look at is see if uh, I want to go to Read Fault Codes. That's one of the reasons I picked that. And, yeah, that's what I wanted to see. So it's got your fault code. Then right below, it's got Data Stream, Details, and Freeze Frame. So those are, those are very good uh, options to have. We're going to hit Data Stream. And it pulls it right up. You're already there in, in the uh, data list. So let's go back, hit details, see what it pulls up under details. That's pretty cool. I have to admit, that's pretty nice to be able to pull up details. And it, uh, it gives you a nice rundown of what that fault means and... Uh, information on how to fix it and then of course you got freeze frame going to give you some information uh you know about that particular dtc and exactly when it's set so that's pretty nice anyway guys uh i, uh, I don't know what else to uh to look at that was in that update if we had the key programmer we could play around with that but we definitely got the high-speed scan, and we got that detailed information for DTCs. So those are two nice uh, features to have, for sure. Anyway, this is the Think Card. This was the new update that they just come out with. And uh, this uh, demonstration was on a BMW X3 2019 model. Anyway, you guys take care. We'll see you. All right, guys, the one other thing that I want to look at is let's go into settings. It says something about a lock screen. Uh, that's probably going to be under maintain. And, yeah, lock screen settings. So it looks like they've added, like, what you have on your phone. You got a swipe, pattern, pin, or password. So if you wanted to lock this out so nobody could use it, then you can do that. I don't think the Moo car has that, to be honest with you. I, I personally would never use that, but I know there's probably people out there that would, uh, especially if you're in a shop and you're afraid that someone might take your scanner. If you've got a locked screen, they're not going to be able to get into it. So it might be a deterrent for someone taking your uh, scan tool. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, can't remember the other options that it said there in the uh, update, but that high-speed scan and the uh, detailed DTC information is some pretty good, pretty good stuff. Anyway, you guys take care. We'll see you.